Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. In this video, we're going to be doing some short range tests, range tests of the Crossover RX RX602T-A receiver. That is a mouthful. This was sent to me by Crossover RX, so thank you uh, to test out for you guys. And this is really great in case you haven't heard about these cuz these Crossover RX receivers um, they're for FlySky as well as others, but they're so stupid tiny. Um, so if these work out well, these could be a great option for FlySky users. So I have this set up here. I've got the other receivers. They're not plugged in. Um, I just kind of taped everything on top of the budget basher right here. Oh, and I, I use servo connectors, connections to make it an easy transition to swap them out. And we've got the Mamba F405 flight controller here, and we're going to be connecting it to um, RX1. So you want to have the serial port um, selected for RX1. And then we're going to be using SBUS. And for the RSSI, you want to have it set to AUX12. Here we are in the backyard. We're going to be just, I'm right now I'm just kind of doing some flying around. Um, you'll notice that the RSSI started out, um, and the RSSI is right at the dead center top of the screen, that number right there that's bouncing around. It's quite sensitive. It started out right about 96, so 100 is, it, you know, is not really maximum. 96 is maximum. And you can see here I'm just doing this test like I did in the previous video, if you want to watch that, with the, about the 401 receiver. Um, just trying to get some some stuff in between me and the receiver to see how it handles that. Um, and so in this case, it's actually doing much better uh, right away, which is cool. And so um, I guess I should mention this particular receiver is different in that it uh, I believe it is a little bit more powerful um, or is a little bit more you know more sensitive and it has an additional antenna. So anyway, uh, we're gonna head out into the woods just a little ways. And I thought I thought my uh, I thought my FPV setup might get a little bit better image um, because I have the battery on the bottom of the quadcopter this time. But I think with the wet uh, weather that we were having, it's like almost about to rain right now. I think the wet weather didn't really help um, the uh, the FPV signal, so you can see it really dropping out quite a bit. But the RSSI again at the center of center uh, top of the screen there is doing pretty good it's like uh bouncing between kind of you know about 55 about 50 and and 60 and that's actually quite a bit better than the other receivers the 401 and the fli 14 plus which i tested in a previous video those were going down i think like in the 30s and like 30s and 40s percentage wise now i haven't flown these to the limits um so i'm not totally sure how accurate the, the RSSI number is, but it, it at least is some sort of indication. And then we're going to head back here, and you can see my FPV feed was uh, really pooping out quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of flying to the limit of my, my FPV setup, which is like 25 milliwatts. And I just fly around a little bit. Now, right here, um, I want to just mention this is something that's not good. I don't like that, th that my goggles do, the Fat Shark Scout goggles. They just like freeze up and yeah, I'm not sure why they do that. I don't know what the situation is with that or if like most digital fancy goggles do this or fat sharks or what the deal is. So if you know about that, uh, leave me a comment in, in the comment section. Let me know if you have the fat shark scouts and if they do that. Okay, so so this 50% minimum RSSI is actually a lot better than the other receivers that I tested, the 401 and in the FLI 14 plus. Um, it, like I said in the previous video, those were run, those were about like I think like 30 or or less or something like that. So it looks like having dual antennas is definitely an improvement, um, and just this receiver overall uh, seems to be performing better. So here, what I'm doing is I look really stupid, but what I'm doing is just testing to see how sensitive the receiver is. So. Basically, I'm just taking my transmitter and putting my body, which is a bunch of, you know, water and squishy stuff uh, in between me and the receiver so, to see if there's any indication on the RSSI. And there is. It's not a whole lot, but it kind of shows you, one, that the RSSI is working and and that it is pretty sensitive. And two... Well, I guess that was it. That was one and two right there. <laughs> anyway, so I hope this was helpful for you. I know it's just a super quick basic test. It's not very far, but 
Um, I just wanted to test the 602 since I tested the other ones in the same way. And stay tuned for testing of, uh, of these receivers at longer ranges. I really want to do that because I am very curious to see how they will work. Thank you so much for watching, wa watching this. Washing, that's hilarious. Thank you so much for watching this and for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and you want to see more. Um, I am so looking forward to making more videos for you guys um, in the coming months and in 2020. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon.